Now we will look into the monochrome TV receiver. How the TV receiving is happening? So here is the block diagram of a monochrome TV receiver. Here is the picture tube or TV. You got the RF tuner here. Let's see how it works. So this is the actual real picture of the devices for the circuit diagram. From the antenna you got the RF amplifier to retrieve all the RF signal. With the mixer it will have a local oscillator to filter it as you get a common IF amplifier. And video detector is happening, amplified, you got it here. From here the sound IF amplifier is done, FF sound D demodulator is done. Audio amplifier is done and you got the speaker. So, voice and picture. So, everything is happening using this scanning and synchronizing circuit for the picture. You can see the picture here. Here is the actual parts you can see in the real time world. The receiving antenna intercepts radiated RF signal and the tuner selects the desired channel frequency band. The antenna provides RF picture and sound signals for the RF amplifier stage. The RF amplifier stage is then coupled into the mixer stage. The mixture is connected to the local oscillator. The oscillator is used for filtering the particular frequency. So the RF audio and video signals are heterodyned into intermediate frequency by the mixer and local oscillator. The RF amplifier mixer and local oscillator stages are called as RF tuner. This is how. The output signal from the tuner circuit is amplified by using a common IF amplifier. Then the video and audio components are separated using the detector. So audio signals are going here and the video signals are amplified here. The sound signals are detected from FM waves, amplified and then fed into the loudspeaker which reproduces the sound. The video components are first passed into a detector which separates the picture signal and from the synchronizing pulses. The line synchronizing pulses and the frame synchronizing pulses are fed into the horizontal and vertical deflector plates of the picture tube. The blanking pulses are given to the control grid of the electron gun of the picture tube. So the line synchronizing and frame is done. The picture signals are applied to the filaments of the electron gun of the picture tube here, you can see it here. According to the variation of the potential in the picture, the electrons are emitted from the electron gun. Thus, the intensity of the fluorescent screen of the picture tube is in accordance with the variation of the potential in the picture and the picture is reproduced. 